Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, it is about 7 degrees Celsius today, but brutal winds. It has been windy for days, so we're going to do indoor stuff today. Again today, it's um, just too bone chilling outside for us old people. Um, we're going to work on laying out that pipe, the conduit for hanging the cast iron. So uh, I'm a little concerned about it not being hooked into the ceiling as well. So we're going to lay it out and see if maybe we need to get a couple, a connector for the ceiling and hook into the um, ceiling uh, rafter as well. But uh, before we get started on that, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. Really appreciate it. Um, the one thing I'm going to do now too, because it's often colder in here, um, that's part of the insulation's job, but uh, it's colder in here than it is outside. So I'm going to light the wood stove and I thought I would just start going through the steps that I do to get the wood stove going um, for the people that are considering a wood cook stove, um, both as a heat source and for cooking. I think we're going to make stir fry today too, so um, we'll use it for that. But um, you know, just all the little steps. I'm I'm really, really pleased with how um, easy I'm finding it to get the temperatures that I want and that sort of thing. It's been a pretty um, easy learning process, but I, I've had wood stoves in my home for 20 years, so I think that's probably helped me a little bit, just knowing um, when to give it air and how to give it air and that sort of thing to get the fire going good. Um, and so you don't smoke yourself out of the house. I still do that occasionally. But uh, I thought I'd go through the steps um, of me lighting the stove and just what I do to get it going, just to help people that are considering it and show you how easy it is too. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, this, this is one of the tools that, um, it's not only for cleaning, but um, getting the ash out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean, uh, or clear most of the ash out. It doesn't have to be perfect. But um, just dragging most of the ash so that um, the air is coming up from down there. Because um, there is a vent there, like I've pointed out before, and um, you can see how loose it is right now. So once the fire is going good, I close this all the way and then I just open it three turns. That seems to be about right. So I'm just going to um, drag some more of this ash that it goes down into the ash bin. And now I'm going to get some newspaper and kindling. So I've got buy a bunch of newspaper in there, a bunch of tiny kindling, and then some bigger stuff on top. So I'm just going to get this lit. And um, oh, I'm going to open the flue. I say to leave the door ajar for a bit. Um, maybe take the box of matches off the, off the stove. <laughs> and I have this vent down here, the one by the floor, open. So we're getting air from outside. This one I think is closed, but I think it's cool enough in here and I'm getting enough air from this one. Um, that uh, we should be good, especially with the door open. And then um, when you're wanting to use it to heat indoors, what I'll do once the stove is going really good and not smoking is I'll open the door and leave it ajar a bit. Um, but I'll do that once I get this, the fire going good. Um, see, it is smoking a bit here, but um, I'll just give it a couple of minutes. It is smoking a bit, but maybe I'll close this and see if the smoke goes up the flue instead. It seemed to have cut down. And I think the fact that it's so windy out today, um, I should get a pretty good draw going up the chimney. Yeah, as long as I've got good flames in there, I should be okay. Should start going pretty good. Yeah, 
Now you can hear, you can tell by the sound too, just by how much crackling you can hear. So you know it's starting to go good when you hear all that crackling. And you can see the flames going really good. It's a pretty deep wood box, so it takes a minute or so for the flames to get to the back. Again, that's going really good. I've got some really good flames. I think I'm going to put some bigger wood on it now. And, um, yep, that's going good. I don't have a lot of really big stuff right now because this is all cutoffs. Chris has brought me from uh, the workshop and from working on Bob's cabin. But it'll get this stuff burns really fast and really hot, so it'll get it heated up in here. And now I'll open the door a bit, a jar, and then I'll warm the, the house up in here really quick. Well, you can see how good that's going now. So it won't take long to warm up in here. And I have another beautiful fire going in my Casca Lacunza. Gonna make stir fry today with my cast iron walk. And don't forget to close the flue. Push this in. Close the flue so the heat's not going all up your chimney and it's going in the oven and because the door is ajar it's warming up the room. So that's one thing you don't want to forget. I have done that before too. And don't forget to use your oven mitt because it will burn your finger. Well, hopefully this little video will help those of you who are thinking about a wood cook stove or already have one, um, help you learn how to get it started and get uh, the heat or the cooking temperatures you're looking for. Anyway, done for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.